In this activity, we'll be using hand perimetry in order to plot the visual field. Now this is the hand perimeter. You can see it consists of a crossbar which can be rotated through 360 degrees. And on the back, there's an indicator rod which helps you position the apparatus in reference to your eye. To use the apparatus, place the indicator rod just on top of the zygomatic bone underneath the eye that you're testing. Your eye should now be lined up with a small mirror on the other side of the apparatus. During the test, in order to maintain gaze fixation, you should look into your own eye, which of course then looks back. Once you have the apparatus in place, you should cover the eye that is not being tested and the experimenter then moves a small brass probe which has either a yellow or a white spot attached to it in from the periphery until the subject says they can see the spot. Once the subject can see the spot and it's right on the edge of their visual field, the experimenter makes a note of what degree of arc that probe is located at. There are angle markings etched into the crossbeam, and so to take the reading, all you do is see where the probe crosses the crossbeam, and then that's the angle marking that you use. For each position of the crossbeam, we take two readings, one coming in from laterally and one coming in from medially, and then we rotate the crossbeam 45 degrees, and here you can see we're going from 180 degrees up to 135 degrees, and then we again take a lateral and a medial measurement, and then rotate another 45 degrees, so now we're at 90 degrees, and so we take a top and a bottom reading, and so on, through 45 degree increments until we've gone a full 360 degrees. Now since unfortunately you won't have one of these hand perimeters to use at home, here's the example set of data which we want you to use. And then we've also provided a link to a scoring sheet, and so you should take this example data and plot it onto the scoring sheet in order to map out the visual field for both eyes. Lastly, you should scroll down and have a go at the tutorial questions for this exercise. Now the question that says, what effect did jiggling the target have on your ability to detect the target? Even though you were unable to perform this exercise, you should use your understanding of how the visual system works in order to estimate what you think would happen if you were to jiggle the target versus have a stationary target.